get dogs in at all different ages, um, whether it happens to be a three month or a six month or a nine month. Um, and their training depends a lot on their age and their ability. So um, if you have a three month old dog, we'll do certain things um, more for the bird exposure and the um, mouth habits, picking up their feet and just standing still. It's really simple and easy to clip the nails and uh, if they happen to get into porcupine, take their quills out or whether it's a wood tick or whatever it happens to be that you run into in the woods, it's just, it's a great thing to be able to just make it so they can stand there and behave for you. The first three, four months of their life is very important to get these dogs into birds and to anything um, out there, just expose them to everything. And uh, so we expose them to a lot of birds and um, get them out in the woods smelling all the different smells. Uh, it's just a great idea to expose the dog as a young dog to all the different things that are out there. It's, it's when their brains are imprinted when you can make the most impact on their lives. Um, if you don't start hunting a dog or training a dog till a year, year and a half old, you kind of miss the boat. So you need to get started right away. It's very important. We got the dogs tied out on the chain. Uh, they have an 18 inch chain and they're all tied together on one chain. And um, basically I'm the teacher and the dog is learning um, how to behave, how to stand still, how not to bark, how not to whine. Uh, if, they, if they bark or whine, we, we put what we call a figure eight around the nose, uh, which is gonna teach them to keep their mouth shut so they're not a constant whiner and a barker. And um, when we walk up to them with our command lead, we want the dog to stand still and um, stand there for us so we can allow to put the command lead on them and we can walk off and do some training. Um, if the dog doesn't stand still, we'll just walk away and go to the next dog. So. Um, it's a good thing to, to teach the dog that they don't have to be jumping and scratching and um, barking and whining and, and always constantly having to think that they get it their way. Our goal is to get them to just behave. So it all translates to um, getting the dog at home and having a better house dog. Our dogs are hunted probably 20% of the time and the other 80% we have to live with them. So we want a dog that can just behave. Your dog is not your baby or a child and it is the dog, and it's not equal to you. That's, that's what we see the most, is that people think that their dog is their baby and it's equal to them, and, and that's not the case. The dog is working for you, the handler. And when you understand that, um, and they'll work for you then. But if, if they think they're equal to you, or actually above you in the pecking order, you're in trouble. Because then the dog runs the show, and you can't train a dog that's like that. It's just impossible. We have uh, really nice concrete runs and uh, indoor kennels for the dogs so they're not uh, actually out in the elements uh, with a roof over top of it and um, the dogs are all treated uh, like they're at a spa basically. Um, we have a nice exercise area in the back so if we have a dog that um, would like to run off and think it wants to go out and chase a bunch of deer or whatever it happens to be what we have around here, uh, we put them in the exercise area um, which allows them to get their exercise and not having to worry about them running off and I just think that's a good thing for for the puppy if you're worried about one running off. If you bring a dog to Bob Seymour Kennel, the dog is gonna be treated fair and gonna be trained daily, um, not just stuck out on the chain. We're gonna give it the proper exposure that it needs for its age group. Um, so every age dog needs a different type of exposure. Um, so if you bring me a young dog in, we'll do certain things. A middle-aged dog will do what it needs. And if you need a dog that needs to be trained for utility, We'll work on all the different things that need to be done for utility, like the steadiness, the uh, wing shot and fall, and all the blind retrieve stuff, and duck searches. We can do whatever that aged dog needs. <laughs>